Brockatai Howl, Brockatai Howl Shy, Brockatai Howl, Brockatai Howl Shy, Brockatai Howl, Brockatai Howl Shy, Basham, Rakakwadash. Call Halal, Yahweh Basham Howl Shy, Basham Rakakwadash. Double honest of the past and elders, a great meal, son of taught me this truth. And much love to the brothers and sisters that wholeheartedly believe, man. This is brother you call Prophets in Babylon, Sarasota. I'm coming at you with a quick lesson through the spirit and pray how about Shema Al Shai. Hey, be grateful. The Lord ain't take you out, man. All right. Be grateful. The Lord ain't take you out. OK, because let's go to this real quick in the book of Corinthians. All right. Let's get this real quick. Second Corinthians chapter two and verse uh, second Corinthians chapter 12 and verse nine. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. You know what grace means? Mercy. OK. Grace goes into mercy, man. All right. My grace, my mercy is enough for you. All right. Sufficient means enough. He said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly thereof will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Hamashiach may rest upon me. All right. So he's saying my grace is enough for you, Paul. All right. Because I could have took you out. You persecuted the church. That's a heavy offense, man. OK, but see, the reason the Lord ain't take you brothers and you sisters out is because hey, y'all may be of the elect. Right, y'all may be of the elect, man. Y'all may be of the house of David. And if you're of the house of David, OK, you're going to receive the sure mercies of David. OK, so let's go back to the book of Micah. It's the book of Micah, chapter seven, and verse nine. I will bear the indignation of the Lord. Let's go into that word bear. All right. That word bear means carry. All right. Hold up, you know. The Lord said, "Bear your cross. You gotta, you know, you got, you gotta uh, deal with it. I will deal with the indignation. All right, that anger. Okay, D these afflictions, man. That cross, that cross. You brothers and sisters carry it, man. In, in particular, you brothers. All right, you brothers go through more than these women do because the Lord has to prove you because you're going to be the next, uh, the rulers of the earth, the governing body of the kingdom to come." All right, Micah 7 and 9, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. So we have to catch hell, you know, double because we're being tried and we have to pay for the afflictions that we've done in our past life and this life, man. Like Apostle Gabar had stated in the, in the camp a few weeks ago, you're being tried and, you, and you're being purged of your iniquities. You know, Micah 7 and 9 again, and I will, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. So the Lord is going to bring us to the light, man. After, you know, we be found proven like Yahweh Shai. All right. Yahweh Shai, you know, our Lord Yahweh Shai, man, he was, he, he had to go to, he had to catch hell, man. You know, now he died for the nation of Israel, but he also died for his sins. He had to die for his sins, man, because through Adam, we all fell. You see, so he was being, he was being proven. And he had to pay for his iniquities. You see? So Yahweh Shai not only died for the nation of Israel's sins, but he died for his sins as well. As, as Adam, as Solomon, you see? As Isaac, you know? And, and, all the, and all the other incarnations he came back in. All right? Which, you know, that's, that's as much as I know. You know what I'm saying? But as, uh, let's, get this, let's get this real quick in the book of Hebrews. All right? The 12th chapter. In um, the sixth verse, all right? Let's get this real quick. I'm going to start at verse 5. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 5. It says, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as children. That means that word children goes into sons. All right? Sons, man. All right? Scriptures say, remember yourselves men. So when you catching this hell, you got you to gotta gird up your loins as a man. All right? You got to, you know, get, remind yourself why you're catching this hell. I sinned against the Lord. And I'm being tried by the Lord. Okay. So you have to remember these things, brothers. And you sisters too. You know, but in particular, you brothers, man, because you're being tried to rule the kingdom to come. These women ain't being tried to rule the kingdom, man. All right. They just catching hell to be saved. You know, but you brothers are being tried to be saved and to rule. So you have to catch double. Okay. The tabernacle of the most highs with men, not women. All right. Hebrews 12 and 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. That word chastening goes into hell you catch, man. And we catch hell, man. You got to fight these demons. You got to fight other people's demons. You got particular things going on in your life. You know, 
you may be a you may be a brother, and you're not bad looking. You just it's like God damn, I can't get no women. Okay, that's all. That's all the affliction of the Lord, man. It says, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Let's go into that word scourge, man. You know, let's go. Let's look at that word scourge in the free dictionary. All right. Define scourge. You know. That word scourge goes into whip. Woohoo! Lash. Hey, did not was not our Lord lashed? Was not our Lord whipped? You know? Where hey, was not the nation of Israel whipped? Alright? So, hey, we're being scourged. Alright, we're being scourged right now. Hey, scripture says spare the rod, spoil the child. So we have to be beaten when we go off. Like you discipline a child, man. When it's when you when you tell your child to do something, he does the opposite, you have to beat him. All right, you have to, you know, however you discipline your child, man. All right, with the belt. Okay. So it says, for whom the Lord, whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If you endure chastening, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai gives you as sons, as with the son, Salakia. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? So if you ain't catching hell, now it's time to examine yourself, you know. You ain't catching no hell. You ain't going through no, you ain't going through the straight gate. What's going on? Now it's time to, you know, sit back and examine yourself. Okay, what what am I doing wrong? Okay? It says, but if ye be without chastisements, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons? Okay? It says, furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. We respected them. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the fathers of spirits and live right? Be grateful. The Lord ain't take you out, man. Okay? His grace is enough for you. Like he said to Paul, I could have took you out, Paul. The Lord could have took us out, man. We we have all done things worthy of death. We all done things worthy of death, man. I have, you have, the brothers having this truth, the sisters having this truth, okay? But the Lord said his grace is enough for us, so we have to catch this hell because we sinned against the Lord, man. I'm going to get a few more precepts and that's going to be it. All right. Listen to this real quick. Proverbs said the same thing. Okay. I'm going to get into Proverbs. Proverbs 3 and verse 11. It says, My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father and the son, even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. All right. So, yeah, man. Paul got it from Proverbs. All right. Why sayings, man? All right. So, don't despise it. Don't despise this chastising because you have to go through it because you could be put to death. Okay? You'd be put to death, man. Sirach 2 and verse uh 2. It says, set thy heart right and constantly endure. You got to constantly endure everything, man. That's why scriptures say, he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. It says, and make not haste in the time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased in thy last end. Like Joel was. Joel went through the chastisement and he received more than he ever had. Whatsoever. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, which means anything. Anything. Because it could be worse. Okay? The Lord the Lord likened his truth, you know, in this straight gate as unto a light affliction. It says, for whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient. Okay? Which means suffer. Because when you patient, you you suffer, man. You waiting. You don't want to wait. You want to get it right then and there. We don't want to wait for the kingdom. We want the kingdom to come right now. But we're suffering, waiting for the kingdom. All right. Be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire. Fire is hot, man. Fire don't feel good. When you when you when you ever got burnt before, that don't feel good, man. Okay. So that's like unto this truth. You're being burned spiritually. All right. That spiritual fire, man. It's these afflictions. For gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. That means all odds are stacked against you. It says, believe in him and he will help thee or thy way of right and trust in him. And ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him and your reward shall not fail. So you have to go through this. All right. Even if, even if it's unto death, even if that straight gate leads into us dying, we have to go through this. Why? Because we're going to be rewarded. Okay. Because we paying for our iniquities, man. So with that, a hey, Lord willing, you were edified. I don't want to make this too long, you know. But uh, Lord willing, you brothers and sisters were edified, man. Be grateful. The Lord ain't take you out. 
All right? Be grateful. You help Bashi, man. I'm trying to take you out, man. All right, so with that, I'm going to close out by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, for pouring the Spirit upon me to do this lesson. Hey, Lord willing, this edifying to the elect. To the next time, Shalom, Ababa Ball, Kwan Masarala.